Hello again everyone, Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Pisces June 2019 horoscope forecast part 2 of 2. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, as far as June goes, um, Venus will be in Gemini from the 9th until the 30th, so the 4th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time. Well, uh, you may make money doing some Gemini uh, thing at home. It could just be simple, like journalism, writing. It could be something maybe with some kind of data communications, or maybe you're, you can do some kind of broadcasting uh, from your home or, or with family. Um, doing a, something with dexterity such as auto refrigeration mechanics it could be something where you might spend uh, money on a variety of things uh, for your home on communication devices uh, if you are unattached at this time uh, pisces you might connect with the gemini sun moon or ascendant or simply one that embodies gemini uh, characteristics that you might feel very close to home with it might be somebody that may be there for you at that ladder or end part of life if you're not there already uh, this could be about loving Gemini qualities at the core uh, such as loquaciousness and, uh, versatility uh, being multifaceted de being dexterous um, being very adaptable and pliable and Built and being very spirited and very vivacious. Uh, maybe you realize you have more of these at the core than you realize. And also, uh, this could be about spending money maybe very rapidly on, uh, on, an, on getting in touch with your ancestry, with your roots. And also, this could be about playing uh, Gemini Rock type mental games. Uh, with, with your uh, family members or people you're close to home with. It could be a game like Mastermind or Q or uh, something that could be or Tetris, anything that requires very strong mental agility. And um, anyway, next thing up, Mars will be in Cancer still, so the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, at this time, uh, in some cases, this could manifest in rather contentious and acrimonious uh, situations, perhaps with children and uh, lovers in some cases. It could be very emotional battles. It could be ones where you're, it could be over lamenting or brooding over things connected with, pet, with the past. And also this could be about putting a lot of energy and vitality into Cancerian type of hobbies. At this time, it could be th things connected with cooking or culinary uh, work. It could be things connected with the past, nostalgia, coin collecting, um, doing maybe some home, uh, maybe some home renovation, repair, puttering around the home, things that could be Cancerian uh, related, anything with water like swimming. Um, so anyway, um, and also too, this could be about a time if you're unattached at this time, Pisces, that you might get involved with a sexual liaison or sexual interlude with a, uh, with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Cancerian traits. And it could be for a superficial fling at this time. In some cases, it could be about something that might evolve to very uh, love, uh, very something that could be about true love and a very strong romantic interest um, relationship. So anyway, Next thing up, Jupiter will still be in Sagittarius, so the 10th house is well being emphasized and highlighted. And at this time, uh, this could be about a lot of exuberance, perhaps in traveling abroad uh, in your career, or um, doing anything Sagittarius related, such as publishing. Also, um, at this time, as I've stated previously, Jupiter can be very paradoxical, could be very strongly benign and benevolent, but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand. In a lot of cases, this can enlarge and expand rather foolhardy, self-righteous, over-optimistic, even reckless behavior, perhaps from a dominant parent, which is often the father. It could be 
an authority figure. It could be somebody prominent in your career. Uh, and also, too, it could manifest to maybe publishing something Sagittarius-related that gets you more notoriety, exposure, and recognition. It could be something connected with sports, the law, religion, philosophy, even something with publishing or advertising, target practice, of darts, anything that could be Sagittarius-related, horses, stables, and also perhaps maybe adopting a philosophy uh, such as just being that incorrigible optimist might factor in into your social status and stature in life and perhaps play dividends in improving it. Next thing up, Saturn will be in Capricorn, so the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted and at this time. This could manifest in dealing with certain restrictions and limitations with friends, or with acquaintances, maybe in groups, your aspirations, your goals. You might find yourself taking care of a debilitated or sickly a stepchild if applicable, a friend, an acquaintance, someone you know at a group club or organization. That might be, um, it might be someone debilitated that might have something Capricorn related going on, such as something with the knees, the bones, or the joints, and maybe making you feel somewhat despondent and melancholy. Uh, this could also be about dealing, um, in some cases, um, some will, it could manifest in maybe working very hard and laboriously on maybe a government or political goal or aspiration or anything Capricorn related such as dentistry or accounting or even information technology and also about gaining structure and discipline in those goals and aspirations and understanding and really just working hard toward your future perhaps this time as well. And um, anyway, this could also be about limitations, perhaps in money, maybe from some kind of business endeavor if you do own your own uh, business at this time. So anyway, next thing up, Uranus will be in Taurus still, so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time. But one way this may manifest, this could be about dealing with perhaps unusual obstinate behavior from a sibling, a cousin, a neighbor, your communications may be more sporadic and erratic than usual. Taurus friendships may figure more prominently in your short journeys, uh, perhaps in uh, dealing on uh, matters with siblings, with your cousins, your neighbors, in your communications in general. Um, trans local transportation. Uh, you may be getting some ideas that are coming very spontaneously and extemporaneously. This could also be about very uh, future, really maybe being open to futuristic and um, travel at this time and maybe in a very persistent manner such as, I mean, flying cars are starting to come into existence. Anything that could be a futuristic form of travel could really uh, really uh, be something you may be more enamored with than usual. And also this could be about expressing more freedom and independence in your short journeys. It could be something you strongly value at this time. And your mind may be more innovative than usual. You might adopt some unusual writing style or begin to write about really new ideas and concepts you come up with. Maybe things that are very innovative. You might come up with more ing ingenious ideas more so than usual. So anyway, next thing up, uh, Neptune will be in Pisces still, so the first house is what we emphasized and highlight. Now at this time, this could be about dealing um, some cases. Uh, you might become across as a little bit more deceptive and duplicitous than usual, or even people that you knew from your early childhood, even a grandmother. And also, too, in, in some cases, this could be about the dissipation, dissolving of your vitality at this time as well, and especially if this is making an adverse aspect to your natal sun or your Mars. Um, this could also be where new beginnings may be more nebulous and unclear than usual. Even a first impression people might see was somewhat nebulous or be at this time or unclear or obscure. And even there might be more than usual as far as your outlook on life. There may be some confusion, but at the same time, um, on a positive end, this could manifest in Neptune type new beginnings. It could be doing something with poetry, dancing, photography, chemistry, the metaphysical, which includes astrology, spirituality, doing work with feet, 
And um, but at the same time, you might be a little bit more lethargic than usual and really your energy. And again, that goes back to the energy, maybe being somewhat dissipated more so than usual, and especially if this is making an adverse aspect to your natal Mars or sun, and that could intensify this and give greater propensity for diminished energy. Last but not least, Pluto will be in Capricorn still, so the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, I know a lot of you don't want me to say the dreaded D word, but you know I'm going to anyway. In some cases, this can manifest in an actual literal death of a stepchild of applicable, a friend, an acquaintance at this time. Uh, guard against becoming uh, really obsessive and fixated over your goals, your aspirations, perhaps to the point of romping over others in the process to attain them. And also you might be dealing with more power struggles with friends and acquaintances than usual at this time. But this could also be about attaining power in your future or even getting involved in Pluto type aspirations and goals and groups. It could be uh, connected with insurance or astrology, the occult, supernatural, recycling, anything with transformation, um, anything that could be Pluto related, something with nuclear physics. So, um, and it could be where you might be get involved in some kind of covert or very secretive group or operation such as the CIA. So anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Pisces June 2019 horoscope forecast part two of two. Stay tuned next time I'll be giving you my Aries July 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or having make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.